guys, so we're doing a bit of a different tag here. As you can tell, I've got a pair of Minnie Mouse ears on. So of course we're doing something different. We are doing the Disney tag, if I can find it on my phone. I lose things. Yeah, it's like the Disney Paris tag, and I've been twice now. So we are going to, do, oh my God, too far in as well. We are going to do that. I actually love the way this hair looks with these ears. Um, so number one, what, what year did you first visit uh, Disneyland Paris and how old were you? So I think we first went in about 2003, 2004. So I was about five or six. My little brother was an absolute baby. I, I think I was six because I'm sure we took our um, bear that um, we had at school, which was lovely, uh, called Barney. Um, which of the Disney hotels have you stayed in, if any, do you have a favourite? So I've stayed in Sequoia Lodge and the Davy Crockett Lodge. I'd go Sequoia every time I'd go again. It was absolutely beautiful when we went, um, when I went with my ex and I just loved the room. However, I just wouldn't go with him again. Let us know where the best places to eat within both parks and Disney Village are. Don't go to the McDonald's, McDonald's is crap. Um, there is, oh, I can't remember what it's called. There is a steak restaurant on, in the little shopping area and that is phenomenal. It's a bit expensive, but it's unreal. It is definitely like amazing and I think I had creme brulee because I was currently not knowing I was allergic to um, dairy. So yeah, I'd go there. Um, where is your first port of call when entering Disneyland Paris? So I love the rides. Um, uh, um, the mountain one that my brain is no longer computing. I do love the Haunted Mansion, so sometimes I will go to MC, like the m movie side as well, because that's where the Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster is, and I absolutely love the Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster. Do you have a favourite land? If so, why? So I prefer the main land for like characters and everything like that. However, I do love the like magic, like the cinematic sort of land for everything, like the Rock and Roller Coaster, the like. Um, the what this S like SFX bit and everything like that. That is what I prefer for that side of the park. Which ride would you ride over and over and never tire of? Probably the Tower of Terror or the Haunted Mansion. I love the Haunted Mansion. It is probably my favourite ride in any Disney I've been to because I've been in Florida and Paris. And yeah. I'd happily go on it all the time, even if it's in French. Um, tell us about your favourite character meeting ever at DLP. So I only got to meet Diz, uh, Goofy the last time I went. However, when I first went, like obviously the first time I'd ever been to Disneyland Paris, um, I got to meet all the characters and Belle is my favourite princess, so meeting her would have been my favourite. What is the parade slash show from only year that my... I went during Christmas, like the Christmassy time, and seeing the fireworks and everything like that is probably my favourite. And seeing all the characters dressed up in their Christmas outfits are my favourites because I'm a very uh, Christmas is like my favourite thing of the ever. Um, you can only ride one: Mad Hatter's teacup or Dumbo's flying elephant. The teacups because I don't mind getting dizzy. I'm a weirdo. What do you think the best attraction in Walt Disney Studios Park? That's what it's the Studios Park, the other side. Um, Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster. I could literally, apart from Tower of Terror, just go round and round and round and round and round several hundred times over. Describe your describe your happiest Disneyland Paris memory of all time. It is probably um, going on It's the Small World, and obviously that ride is obnoxious, but it's brilliant and having somewhere that I just enjoy play like. Um, singing and it's a, it's like the relaxing part of the it's probably one of the quieter rides especially during like rain and stuff because it's watery but you don't get wet at all um, and it's just going round on that and having a calm moment like take it's like the stress away from Disney just being able to walk like like slowly float around on a boat listening to It's a Small World and getting to see all the little characters and everything like that and that's probably one of my favourite memories um and when that, we first went and me and my little brother were so excited to go see the castle and everything like that, even though it was pissing it down with rain. Every time I seem to go to Disneyland Paris, it seems to rain. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was only a short one, but I'll see you all soon. Bye.